making his way to the ring from Amsterdam, Holland, weighing in at 215 pounds, the NXT The ominous champion, man from Amsterdam. Black emerged from the darkness just long enough to knock someone's head clean off. Alistair Black slowly and methodically making his way to the ring, all to psych out his opponent. The presence and aura Unmatched. Ah, they say Thomas. Manipulator. Don't let the empty stare fool you. The maestro of mayhem is a master of mind games and manipulation. Guys, am I the only one a little uncomfortable that Eric Young is coming out here? Well, you should be because he vowed to turn your happiness into havoc when he heard your commentary. Let's be honest, don't tell him I said this, but the guy's nuts. Actually, I'd like to see what happens. This man, Eric Young, brings a whole new meaning to marching to the beat of your own drummer. This guy marches to the beat of his own band. Tables match action kicking off here, folks. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Usually making a quiet home in the darkness, Aleister Black only rises to compete. Now the Dutch destroyer might emerge out of the darkness just long enough to knock someone's head off. What are we gonna see here? Oh, a neck breaker! There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. I trap the leg into a... Oh, what a chop block. Harsh impact. What grace. Four over in the beautiful technique. Back now inside the ring. Oh, 
You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. Great power! Inverted suplex! Corey, I remember seeing photos of that horrible scene in wrestling magazines. The pile driver was utilized when Terry Funk planted Nature Boy Ric Flair on a table at WCW's Wrestle War 89 pay-per-view. And something happened in sports entertainment in the early 90s called Extreme Championship Wrestling. ECW superstars crashed through tables all the time. And what was going on in Philadelphia caused a craze of wood being turned into wood chips thanks to tables matches. In order to win a tables match, a competitor must be the first person to put their opponent through a table. We've also witnessed table in play. Oh man, Eric Young is really feeling the pressure. Oh, here we go. Caught off guard. Something big is coming. He's in full control now. When this guy's on, look out. What's he got in mind? Scoop slam! It appears Eric Young is starting to hit the wall. Tonight may not be his night, guys. Ooh. I have no idea how he's avoided being put through a table so far here tonight, but I'm willing to bet his luck is about to run out. Young needs to turn danger into opportunity. Watch out here. Aleister Black setting it up. It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers Tommy Dreamer and Rhino to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. The match in 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts was chaos from the second all eight superstars were in the ring. Braun Strowman was awesome in his destruction of all four members of Team Extreme, but the ECW originals kept their focus on making sure each member of the Wyatt family crashed through a table. The ECW's original's love of brawling clashed with the Wyatt's drive to destroy anyone who stepped in their path. The Wyatts took the advantage after Rhino and Devon Dudley were eliminated, and they didn't look back. Bubba Ray took on the Wyatts with everything he had, but the sick power of the Wyatt family was just too much, as seen when Braun Strowman chokeslammed Bubba Ray through the final table. Float over. Oh, DDT! Fight them. Of course, Hackshaw Jim Duggan was the first ever Royal Rumble winner back in January 1988. What a stomp! Good grief! On the apron. Oh, this oh. is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really nasty. The hardest part of the ring. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. And he's heading back in. What grace! Float over into the... Ooh, what impact! He knows he's in trouble. He's almost got him. Oh, 
he's such a tough target. Lightning fast reflexes. Whoa, Black able to avoid damage so quick. Oh, what's this gonna be? Uh-oh, the incredible impact. That took this table match and its carnage is over. I can't believe what we just saw. Tables matches are fan favorites for a reason, folks. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Alistair Black. Big victory for him here in this one. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Folks, that match is why people say the Royal Rumble pay-per-view is a can't-miss event.